Elizabeth, you're running for Congress this year. What inspired you to run? Well, as a young, a young girl, I grew up in Michigan. I was the 11th of 12 kids, and I think I was the only kid that caught the political bug. Um, I had eight brothers, and I always say I've been fighting for human rights my whole life. But my father and I would watch the conventions on TV, and we had those. I know this is going to be a big jump for millennials, but we had vinyl records of President Kennedy's speeches. And although he died a decade before I was born, it was still his words hit an inspired chord within me that put in place in my heart the desire to serve my country. And I still think America is an amazing country to be a part of, and I want to serve this country. In my role as a real estate broker, I get to see front hand what is happening on Main Street and saw the effects of what happened with the last housing crisis where the American dream became an American nightmare. And as we move to an area of relaxing those regulations, I want to make sure someone's in, in Congress who's willing to stand up for the consumers and make sure our interests are protected, but not only just our housing interests, but to make sure our quality of life interests are addressed, that we continue to build our communities with strong schools, infrastructures, jobs, that our environment is protected. And one of the things I've been active in is land preservation. And believe it or not, developing land doesn't add more to the local economy, actually keeping open space does. And so I will continually advocate for the environment and for awareness of climate change and protection of our resources. Elizabeth, I wish you the best of luck, and I thank you for being a guest on Delaware County Political News. Thank you so much. We have been here with Elizabeth Morrow, and I am your host, Larry DeMarco. If you like this video, please forward the link to all the people on your contact lists and Facebook friends. We are signing off. Tune in next time. Bye for now.